I'm gonna cut this into pieces. Next, we're gonna take these screws out. I'm gonna, well, I'm not gonna take that off. I'm just gonna start cutting around here with my saw saw probably, just cut into pieces where I can get it out of here. Also gotta go down here and disconnect the drain from the pipe. All these are usually have a thing inside here, be a screw, take this knob off. Take these two screws out. This is supposed to be silicone all the way around, but it's not apparently. It doesn't have that to help the water out, but me, I don't think that does a good enough job. Next, uh, well, you know the deal. I'm gonna cut this into pieces. That way I can carry it outside nice and easy. These shower surrounds a lot of times have a flange right here like this one does. You gotta cut the drywall back and you gotta get the flange off behind the drywall. It's gonna break the drywall in the process so you might as well just cut it and remove it. Same thing over here. This is gonna be all wood here. And then the flange is right here. Screwed into the wood. And you gotta cut this out. I'm gonna take this with my drill and I'm gonna go to the inside, cut the inside of this PVC pipe off for the t or for the base comes up. Next, I'm gonna go around to all these, oop, fell over. Go around all these nails and I'm gonna pull them out, pull that nail out, all these nails all the way around out.
going to replace this, the shower head, and we're going to replace all this. This is what you need. You're going to need a torch. You're going to need a pipe cutter. You need some solder. You need a brush for the solder. You need flux. You need sandpaper. Something to sand it all, clean it. Uh, this also is for, for cleaning and stuff for inside of the pipe. This pipe came loose and that's why you hear some clanging sometimes whenever you're taking a shower or when the water's on. Other normal things you need is uh, some 90s, you need some unions, with stops or without stops, both probably help. And then you're going to need some length of pipe, because you need pipe and clean pipe to do it. You can use old pipe, but old pipe uh, tends to leak because it's not as clean. Cleaner the pipe, better seal. Also for you, any of this water work or anything with plumbing, you want to turn the water off either where the pipes are or the main water to the house so you don't want any leaks anywhere. So you're going to open it up, make sure all your parts and stuff here, but the main thing we're after here right now is your shower valve. You want to make sure there's no plastic, if there's a cartridge in here, you want to take it out because when you solder, this thing gets hot. And if it gets hot, plastic melts. And you see this black thing around here. You want that, that's the part that's going to be flush with the either tile or whatever is here. You want it to be the flush to the front of this. This piece right here, you want it just flush to this. So you want this part to sit back behind the wood, like a, a half inch or sit like that, because that way drywall or cement board tile, you gotta make up for it, a little more out, and adjust. Oh. I'll also toss this in there. If you have really thin walls, like it's a thin plastic, you want that plastic to be sitting behind, behind the stud.